Hello, my name is Christoph Alvang and I am Technical Road PR at SRAM and I show you today how we bleed the hydraulic disc brakes. So we start with taking off the brake pads with a 2.5 millimeter Allen key to remove the bolt and put on the bleeding block. The next step I'll be repairing the syringes. I filled up one of the syringes about halfway. I'm degassing the syringe by pulling gentle vacuum. Then I connect the first syringe which is half filled to the caliper. I open the bleed port with a T10 Torx key, paper rack around it to avoid the dot fluid leaking on the on the caliper. And now I'm doing the same with the second syringe. Again, getting the air out of the syringe. I'm flipping back the hood cover, opening the bleed port again with the T10 Torx key, and then attach the prepared second syringe, which is filled about a quarter. So now we're ready to start the actual bleeding. I open the valves, clip valves on the syringe and now I press the liquid from the lower syringe which is attached to the caliper to the lever. Now we see some small bubbles coming out of the system. That's exactly why we're doing the bleeding process. I'm doing that back and forward two or three times till I don't see any bubbles coming out of the system. I leave the syringes about halfway filled, close the valve of the syringe on the shifter, pull the brake lever and attach it with the strap so it stays pulled. Now I disconnected the shifter from the hose and caliper and now I can bleed them separately. I do that by creating a gentle vacuum and so the rest of the bubbles that stood in the caliper get out of the system. Now we come to an important step. I release the strap but still hold the brake lever and now I put a little compression on the syringe and at the same time I slowly open the brake lever and at one point the liquid floats back into the piston and make sure we have the system filled with liquid as good as possible. Close the valve, disconnect the syringe on the caliper Close the bleed port, clean the caliper with alcohol on a rack. Now I bleed the lever. For that, again, I slowly create gentle vacuum, releasing some bubbles which still stood in the lever. We got the big bubbles out. I'm putting a little pressure on the syringe. Let the lever snap for like 10, 15 times to get the bubbles loose from the pistons. I check again with a little vacuum with no major bubbles coming out. So we're good with that. I close the valve and take the syringe off the shifter. I close the system, dry it, and then I flip back the hood cover. And in the last step, I put back the brake pads on the caliper, put in the bolt again, and put back the safety clip on the bolt. We're ready to put back the front wheel in 
and see if we did a good job. Contact point feels good. So it was a successful bleeding process. One of the most common jobs that you'll need to do on a road bike is replacing the bar tape like this, either when the previous tape gets worn out or when you're replacing the cables which run up to the STI levers.